A given city had a population of 100,000 in the year 2000. By year 2005, this population had grown to 115,000. City planners estimate a geometric growth rate until 2012. The city's goal is to not increase their net water usage. By how many gallons would they need to reduce their usage in 2012 in order to have the same water use as in 2005? Assume the 2005 water use is 160 gallons per capita day. So the keywords in this problem related to population growth are geometric growth rate. We can search for this in our reference manual, taking us to chapter 6, section 6.1.6.2, to a section called log growth equals exponential growth equals geometric growth. A long title but it does give you the direct equation that you'll need. So the first thing we're going to do is find our growth rate. This equation is given as follows. ln to the p sub t equals ln to the p sub zero plus k times delta t, where in this case, pt is population at time t, p sub zero is population at time zero, k is our growth rate, and delta t is the elapsed time in years relative to zero. So we can begin to fill this equation out and find our growth rate. So p sub t is going to be our population at the year 2005. and p sub zero is going to be our population in the year 2000. We are solving for k since our first goal is to find the geometric growth rate. And we know that t is going to be the difference in years. Let's call it year one to year zero. So if we use our calculators to get ln of 115,000, we get just about 11.65. And if we do the same thing here, we get just about 11.51. And then this gives us k times five. Calculating this out, we get a k of just about 0 0.028. So that is our growth rate. Now let's go to step two. So we found what the growth rate is, which means we can find our population in 2012. So again, we can use our same exponential growth equation. So we can write this out again as ln p sub t equals ln p sub zero plus k times delta t. But in this case, ln of p sub t is going to be our unknown since that's what we're calculating for ln of p sub zero, the new year that we want is going to be 2005. So we're going to place 115,000 in this variable. And then k we can fill in of 0 0.028. And delta t is going to be 2012 minus 2005, the years corresponding to the populations that we have. And if we calculate this out, ln of p sub t equals 11.65. We could just use the same number from over here if we want and not calculate it again. Plus 0 0.2 is what I'm going to estimate that number out to be. So ln of p sub t equals just about 11.85. Now, if you remember your calculus, raising anything with an ln by base e will convert this to 1. So this goes away if we add e to both sides, leaving us with a number we can calculate out because we can calculate this in our calculator as well, and get 139901. 
So this is our new population in 2012. So step three, now that we know our new population, we can determine how much the water use needs to be reduced in order to not change from 2005 to 2012. So the problem gives us our current water use of 160 gallons per capita day. And from here, we can just figure out the difference in population as a percent. And our units are still gallon per capita day. So this is what the new water use would have to be in order for it to remain unchanged from the previous year. But the question asks us, by how many gallons would they need to reduce their usage? So instead of falling for this trick over here, we simply subtract the number we calculated here from 160. And we'll get 28.5 gallons per capita day, which our closest answer over here is 30. And that's all it takes to solve this problem. This is pretty much just an equation-based problem that is given to you directly from the manual. And all we need to do is first find the growth rate. Second, use that growth rate to find the increase in population. And then third, find the reduction in water use required to maintain the same total water use for the new population as it originally was for the old population. As long as you can remember a little bit of calculus, such as e to the ln, and you know how to plug these in on your calculator, which there should be a button for ln, and there should be a button for e, you should be fine. And that's it.